Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, but I don't know what the puzzle is. This right here is a mystery puzzle from thecubicle.com. There are a lot of different prices for these mystery puzzles, and I bought the $25 one, but they're supposed to be worth more than what you paid for, so this puzzle should be worth more than $25. I'm trying to think of what kind of cubes could be worth more than $25, but not much more. And I don't think they'd put any like extremely weird shape mods or non-WSA puzzles in these because they aren't really sure if everyone likes that. So this is probably going to be a 3x3 or a 4x4 or maybe a 2x2, but I've never seen a 2x2 that's that expensive. So now, let's see what it is. Ooh, wait. I think this is a GTS 3M. I'm not sure it says GTS 3, so that's what I'm assuming. One eternity later. It's kind of a nice box. The lettering is like metallic red. Even the box is, oh, oh I see. Oh, it's magnetic, that's cool. Accessories box, cube with a kind of tall case, and that's it. So let's open the accessories first. Okay, another my screwdriver, that's my second one. Uh, okay, I've never seen an unboxing of this cube, so I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Okay, there's another. So this is the same um, tensioning system as the RS3M, which is right here. Don't mind the black stickers. I never bothered to take those off. There is a stand under this cube. Okay, these pieces do not fit together well. That's okay, because I don't want a stand like this. It's kind of ugly. There it is. So I know there have been like versions of the GTS3 out for a while, but I have no idea like if they've made newer versions or anything. So I have basically no idea if this is magnetic or not, or what. It does have ridges, which is, whoa, this is very elastic-y. So now let's turn the cube. This seems to be non-magnetic because it's not really holding its shape, but let's do some first turns. Okay, it's a little bit oily on the outside, but this is extremely like fluid and smooth. I'm gonna wipe the oil off of that. Oh, gosh, I almost just knocked over my lamp. All right, let's do some more turns. This thing is actually like extremely good for being non-magnetic. Um, it's so good that I might even magnetize it if I can figure out how. Let's take a look at the pieces. Or maybe not. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very impressed with how how fluid and smooth this thing is for not having magnets. Alright, let's test corner cutting. Okay, it can go line to line, but not much further than that without being like choppy. All right, so I'm gonna do a solve with this cube to see how good it is during a solve. All right, time for a hand scramble. Okay, I've got my scramble. All right, that was a 13.56. I think it might be a little bit too loose, so I'm going to tighten it. I'm also noticing that this puzzle is kind of loud, so that's one thing. Alright, now that it's at a better tension, I'm going to do another solve. Alright, 14.30. So I think this thing could really have some potential if it was magnetized. And I've never magnetized the cube before, but I'll probably try to get my hands on some magnets and learn how to. Because this seems like a really good cube to magnetize, I think it'd be really good. Mostly because it already is really good, so magnets would make it just that much better. It's just a little bit uncontrollable, which is what magnets can help with. I have some cube logos here, so I guess I'll put one of them on. Maybe this one. There we go. 
And I also got this cool bag with my order, so I guess that can be a home for this new cube. So thanks for watching guys. Remember if you want to see more cool cubing videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell.